The only truth out of Nicole Benton's mouth, according to police, was that her car was stolen outside her home in the West End. The rest of her story, police say, pure fiction. When neighbor Joyce Edwards first heard of what happened, she only had one thought. Well, when you hear the story, the first thing you think of, oh, the baby. Cincinnati police shared that concern, too. Right now, urgent, absolutely urgent. Number one priority for the police department, we will find the little girl. Shortly after the stolen car with the baby on board was put out, the car was found crashed in Westwood. There was no baby inside. Our communications center uh, was put on alert status to uh, hold on non-priority runs to completely focus their efforts on locating this child. Even the FBI was brought into the loop. When police met Benton, she wouldn't let them inside her home. Why? Well, police say it's because three-week-old Lamillion McCollum was inside. After going inside her home, the next time Benton was seen was when she pulled up to her home with her daughter and another woman. She left her home. She actually snuck out the back, uh, jumped into a cab with the child, uh, went a few blocks down the road, met up with her friend who returned the child home with the appearance that the child had been recovered uh, at another location. At some point after returning with her baby, information came in that Benton got her child back from the Ferguson Road Walmart, which is actually around the corner from where Benton's car was found crashed. But that didn't sit well with police because they were already there looking for the million McCollum. Now tonight, all three of Benton's kids are with Job and Family Services. Cammie? Such a bizarre story, Brad. Thank you. Now, as for the stolen car that started the whole mess, the two teenagers are under arrest, charged with receiving stolen property. Nicole Benton has been in trouble before. She's on probation for an aggravated menacing conviction. That was for threatening to shoot her sister in the face. Now she's charged with making false alarms, inducing panic, and obstructing official business. She'll face a judge on those charges in the morning.